Hi friends, so today I'm surrounded by photos because we want to show you the 10 most common photos varieties and we're going to show you the similarities between them as well. If they all have the same growth pattern, if they all require the same care. So let's go. So if you're new here, my name is Larissa and in this channel we try to make plant parenting easier by explaining how plants work. So let's start with our first one, the golden photos. So this is the most common type of photos. I think everyone had one of these once in their lives or even the grandmas had it. And if you want to know how to care for this plant and all kinds of photos, I have a video that I'm gonna link up here somewhere with just one-on-one photos care. But this plant is really easy to care for and the golden photos is called golden photos because of its yellow variegation and in general it's a very easy to care very fast growing plant and it can grow really long vines really fast let me put this aside and the second one is the marble queen the difference between the golden photos and the marble queen photos is that just uh, has some white variegation instead of yellow variegation. These leaves look much bigger uh, because I got this like this. So the photos can grow leaves as big as this. It's just my photos is not receiving a lot of light at the moment. So it's going to a rough phase, but uh, in nature, they can grow like really big leaves. And if you put a moss pole and let the, the plant climb around it, it grow even bigger leaves. One thing that I really like about this plant is that it can grow this uh, kind of a half moon leaf in which one side is completely solid and the other side is variegated. You have, you have like almost a line dividing the two. I just love this kind of pattern. So let's put this aside from the moment. And the next one is the Snow Queen. Ta so this is one of my favorite plants because I got this as a very small cutting with just one leaf and it's growing really fast. This plant is basically the same plant as the Marble Queen and I'm gonna link uh, up here to the video in which we compare these two plants but basically the Snow Queen is a more variegated form of the Marble Queen and I think between all the photos, at least the ones we have here, this is the most variegated one. In the summer, when it was receiving adequate light, it was growing leaves that was, were almost entirely white. But if you watch my video, you're gonna know that the variegation can change with the amount of light you give them. So winter came, light went down, and the plant lost their most variegated leaves because it was trying you know, to preserve itself. So we have like bigger patches of green in the plant now, but nevertheless, it never stopped growing. Like the other photos, this is a very fast growing plant and it looks beautiful like a hanging plant. There you go. So the next one is the pearls and jade. And I also made a video about this plant. This plant, if you watch my video, you're gonna know that this plant was created. Uh, you cannot find in this plant in nature like this. So it was created almost in a lab. Uh, it was created by growers and actually scientists almost in the University of Florida. They were experimenting with photos varieties because they wanted to create a new cultivar. So they used gamma rays on the plants to change the environment and they came up with this very different type of plant that is still photos. You can see that the texture of the leaves is different from the golden photos, that is the most common one, or even from the marble queen, because you have this, uh, these undulations in the leaves. Is undulations a word? It is now. So the leaves are all really variegated. Uh, you don't have any leaf that is completely green. And the cool thing is it's variegation on top of variegation. So you have layers of green 
This is caused by the different colors in the layers of cells. So this is layers and layers of cells with different colors that are creating this kind of pattern. Again, this is a very fast grower. I think this is the fastest growing plant that I have. And it's beautiful, and this is beautiful as a hanging plant. So let me put it here. And the next one is the Enjoy Photos. And so this is the plant I compared with the other one because these two are often mistaken for one another. I actually, when I bought this specific plant in a big nursery, it was labeled as a pearls and jade, and it's actually not because it has these very solid patches of white and green. It has some like variegated leaves as the frozen jade, but the majority of the leaves is very solid patches, not a lot of speckles as you see in there. But the texture is the same. The leaves are kind of smaller than the traditional potos and they, they have the same texture as the enjoyed photos and the other thing is that the distance between the nodes is smaller is one of the characteristics that the growers were going uh, trying to create on the plant when they kind of create this plant so if you want a, a photos that is a fuller plant uh, try to go for enjoy this again this along with this one is one of my favorite plants because I really like the contrast of the leaves. But these two plants have yet another sister. There is another similar plant to this one. That is the... Mandula potos. Is that this one? No, the other one. This one? Yeah. <laughs> this nice special effect. This is another plant that people mistake for one another. Uh, the Mandula potos is very similar to the pearls and jade. The difference is that the leaves tend to get bigger and the leaves are more round. So this is still a small plant, but you can see that the leaves are kind of almost like a circle. And another thing that I noticed about this plant that many people already talked about is that it grows really slow. I don't know how they got to this plant. We're gonna do some research and do another video just on this. But they end up with a plant that is a really slow grower. So I bought this, I think it was like three months ago and it gave me one new leaf. And it's in the same like conditions that this one. And this one's like growing, growing, growing. So there you go. That's another sister of this trio. And the next one is the Jake Potos. This plant was a little bit hard to find for me, surprisingly. This is like basically a full green version of the Golden Potos. I got one leaf with variegation in the middle of all of them, but it's basically what they did was they got probably a Golden Potos that is the most common species, and they start to propagate the darker leaves, the leaves that are, were more like completely green, they're solid green color. And they got those parts of the plant and they propagated, propagated, propagated until they got to a point in which they have a completely green plant. When you have like a cultivar that is completely green or is darker green, this is usually more stable than this one or even this one because uh, the parts of the plants that, that are completely green are usually stronger because they have more chlorophyll. So the plant is this very intelligent organism. If it, it feels that the light conditions are not enough for it to survive, it will start ditching the parts of the plants that are not that efficient. This part of the plant tends to overcome the other part of the plants. That's why many people buy variegated plants and the plant, when they put the plant in their home with not enough light to go around, the plants start to revert back to green and they think they were tricked, but it's actually the plant just trying to survive. So let me put this aside. I can find a place for all my plants. And the next one, is the neon photos. 
This is a plant of mine that is in serious need of repotting. I'm gonna repot this plant next month, I swear. So this plant is a very interesting one. The growers got to this almost lime green again. I believe they did that by propagation. It's not like you find this plant in nature like this. This is clearly a product made by growers. And it's interesting that every now and then I find a leaf that has a little bit of a darker variegation, which proves that in many cases, variegation is completely random. So you can have a plant that is completely solid green and then it just pops a leaf that has like a tiny bit of a variegation, like a small patch of white. And again, this is a very fast grower, very resilient plant because mine is in need of a reporting for months now and it was growing nonetheless and now it stopped growing and it's like okay please report me and i'm gonna report it next month but it's like a really if you want to like a pop of color this is a very good plant to have around so next let me put it here next in line we have a silver blue tiny plant this is one of my tiniest plants this plant i got as this just one leaf cutting from christian you may know him as a crazy plant guy so he opened a shop here in toronto and i went there there's a whole video about it it was the opening day and he was just giving away random plant cuttings to everyone who was in line and i got this tiny cutting of a silver blue that was just this leaf. It took a long time for it to root because I didn't have like the best light conditions, but when it started growing, it started growing really fast. So, so this is not a fast grower. And the main difference between uh, these and the other photos is the shape of the leaves. It tends to have this more elongated, uh, elongated, elongated, elongated type of leaf and it also has this kind of almost bluish tone to it. You can see if you're gonna play with the color schemes here, this plant has more yellow in it. It's almost like you change the, the warmth of the color and put a little bit more blue. That's why the civil blue. This is great as a trailing plant because it grows really fast. It already has two new growth points. I can't wait for this to become a really big plant. And now we have just one plant left, that is the satin potos. <laughs> I forgot the name for an instant. Because this is not actually a, a potos, but a, a lot of people know it as a potos because it kind of looks like it. This is a syndapsis, actually. I love this plant because of the variegation it has. If you look uh, in the light, this plant, this variegation is almost shiny. We're gonna do a video just about variegation, explaining the different types of variegation, but this is a very special type of variegation. I think it's called blister variegation because Watch the video, you're gonna know. When I make the video, I'm gonna link it up here, but this variegation is very different from this type of variegation. It's not caused by the same thing. Again, this is a very fast grow. I have like ooh, at least three new growth points and it's not such a big plant. So it's a great staple plant to have around. So that's it for now. If you like this video, you're gonna like this one. That's actually a playlist that we made uh, of all the comparison videos we did comparing one plant to the other. So thank you for watching and I see you soon.